458 is about to get an overhaul. We're here at LNC today to take apart this car and get it repainted and get it respayed and pretty much make it 100% perfect. There are a few rough ends on this car and I'll get to that in just a moment. But I'm going to get started. Calvin is waiting for me, flagging me down over there. We're going to drive this thing around in the back, start taking this thing off, and I will introduce you guys to Laguna Niguel Collision. They actually recently created a YouTube channel and they are a body shop, but they take in exotics and rebuild them. Usually sell them for customers, but sometimes just sell them once they're rebuilt, which is pretty awesome. They know how to deal with exotics a lot better than we do. And they were like, yo, we can help repaint your car and respray and all that stuff. And we're local to where you are. So I was like, that's a perfect opportunity. And uh, I wanted to come down here and see this shop because they have an amazing 911 Turbo S that they converted into a GT2 RS conversion, which is like a pretty popular thing. Or it's starting to get popular and it's amazing. It's so cool. Damn. And this, anytime is, um, what's the phrase? I don't remember. What? I was gonna say, I was gonna, fuck me. Just giving up. Just follow me on Twitch. Porsche support. It's up to me. <laughs> I need a Porsche. <laughs> this is Vlad. Hey, what's up, guys? Vlad's pretty new to YouTube. I originally found your stuff on YouTube. Well, actually, I think when I first got this car, I talked to you about sourcing yeah, parts yeah. for it. We're building the same cars pretty much. Yeah, you guys had a blue one, and then you had a. That was a, the blue one was a 488. 488 Spider. Yeah, and then and you then did a 458. 458. That looked white. exactly yeah. like this one. Uh, a lot of comments I was getting. I was like, oh, that's TJ's hunt car. Yeah. No. Like, nah, same but different. They're gonna be helping us big time today. Calvin, you're already just being kind enough to let us just come to their shop and wrench on the car with them. So we're gonna try and expedite this as fast as physically possible. And Vlad and his brother Dimitri, I don't know where it is. They definitely know a lot more about this car than we do. So hopefully you guys can teach us well, some stuff. Well, just uh, gaps will make this car 100% perfect. Video sponsor of the day goes out to Ring. I'm actually coming to you guys from the first floor of my house that I just moved into. As I've showed you bits and pieces of this house, a lot of it has smart tech equipment. And one of my favorite things that my house actually has is Ring integrated into the house. So outside of my front door, I actually have this panel here that you can see it has Ring and branded. Now this is a doorbell, camera, and motion detector. When someone rings the doorbell, I automatically get a notification to my phone Phone and it pulls up a live feed from that camera so I can see who's outside. Not only does it act as a doorbell, but it also is a motion detector. So when I'm away at the shop or I'm on the other side of the world, if there's any motion outside of my front door, I get a notification for it. Whenever motion is detected, the camera already starts recording and backs up to a cloud so you can go back and save footage if you'd like. And all the information that is stored on Ring gets sent out to everybody else out around you in your neighborhood that also has Ring installed. So people are noticing that there's the same strange man wandering around your backyard or your front yard or whatever, everyone in close proximity that has Ring will be alerted so everyone can stay looking out for said person. Ring has a bunch of different products, some that are integrated into the house like mine and others that are like motion detectors and cameras that you can set out so you don't have to have it hardwired into your home, which allows for a bunch of options that can suit everybody. As a subscriber, right now you have a special offer on the Ring Welcome Kit available at ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt. The kit includes a video doorbell and a Chime Pro, which is exactly what you need to start building your ring at your home today. Go to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt. That's ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt to get your offer. Links will be down below. Thank you so much for Ring for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to it. Before we dive into it too much, well, Calvin can go for it, but some of the things that I was talking with Vlad about that I'll go over on camera too, if you guys don't remember, this car definitely has a lot of rough spots. Um, some of the biggest things that we're running into, and Vlad, I haven't told you this yet, but these sensors, the tabs on the back of this front bumper that hold in the motion sensors, like and we tried gluing them, we tried doing a million things and nothing really worked. So this front sensor always trips out, so we gotta like fix that on the back of the bumper. There's a lot of like body work on this bumper that needs to get fixed up. These fenders need a more professional Bondo job. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can teach us how to be a little bit better. Yeah, you we need to be taught. Job though, bro. It just needs a little party and then the glaze and we should be good to go. Not bad. It was all right. We're gonna try looking on the internet to see if we can find a brand new um, side skirt. If not, we can just try and fix this. We're gonna need to fix this door. I don't know how that got there. 
So maybe like he caught something hot when he crashed. I don't know how that was possible, but that is there. And then on the rear bumper, there's quite a bit of damage on the rear bottom that, if you guys remember, we bottled it up and just made it look good for the wrap, but that screwed up. And I think it's on this side too. Uh, a little bit. They're gonna definitely gonna need some blunder work. But other than that, it's pretty much all good. And I think that we can finally get a little trick tip on how to get that roof panel to stay on because that thing has been giving us a lot of trouble. And as you guys keep seeing in the videos, it keeps falling off. So we're gonna be doing that. Our main goal for today is to strip everything pretty much down. We're gonna try to get all the fitment and gapping right on the hood and the fenders, make sure everything's perfect. And yeah, I guess we're just gonna start tearing gonna it apart. The body work and then have to primer and then have to paint. It should be fun. And you're professional opinion how how long do you think it will take for us to get this thing and to get sprayed at least some of the pieces by Friday it should be damn so that's yeah. crazy that's really fast if you guys don't know that's like extremely fast but I feel like you guys are kind of giving us a little executive VIP yes. car like we're just gonna be focusing on this so huge shout out to Alan see you guys if you guys haven't already checked out the channel you haven't seen them I'm gonna link it down below so go check it out if you guys like the rebuilding process their channel literally is like thrives on rebuilding cars and a cool feature that or not feature but a cool thing that they do that they told me about if you want an exotic and you don't want to pay a full exotic retail price they'll source wrecked cars and then quote you what it would be to rebuild it so you guys could have it. Exotic cars usually save uh, up to 50 to 80,000. Let's just say. It's a lot. Yeah, with 50,000 you could do a lot of things, you know? If you guys are interested, check them out. Calvin and I and Vlad are gonna start uh, diving into this thing and getting it back to where it needs to be. In just a matter of under an hour, Vlad's already done some doctoring here and has fixed our gapping on the hood and fender and headlight. It used to be like up really high and the gapping wasn't as, um, wasn't as tight, but apparently he's been adjusting something we never even knew. Under here, you can adjust it when it's sitting down and you can adjust fender placement through here as well, which we never even thought about doing. But as Calvin and I have been taking off the fender liners, the side skirts, the rear fender liners and doing all that stuff, Flat was up front adjusting all of it. So we're still in the process of removing. The idea was to get the alignment perfect before taking it off so that once everything's painted, it can go back on and we know everything fits and we don't have to scratch anything up. We're gonna take out the front bumper, the fenders, side skirts, rear bumper, and the hood, and then we'll start prepping for paint. Having Vlad with us, he's an expert. Honestly, seeing the car like this, I'm a little triggered. Why? Because how many times have we been here and how many bad memes are in, in this state? Interesting though, Ferrari took apart our front bumper and replaced all our hardware. You know how we had trouble the headlight washer thing? We didn't know where to put it. This little lining system here. They, they rerouted everything. Thank you Ferrari of San Diego. So when we went there and did uh, some of our service, I, I guess they didn't tell me, remember they didn't, I forgot, but they actually went ahead and they like took apart the front bumper and took it all off, which their poor souls had to probably see our bunk oh. work and they were probably like oh. wanted to kill themselves. But they uh, rerouted some of our stuff, Change out some of our hardware like we're going through it right now and we're like yeah we're like looking through this hardware and we're like whoa like that's new like we didn't do any of that they probably saw some really uh interesting ideas to make all that stuff work oh cool thing though they kept our spacers because the bumper wasn't lining up i put that there really yeah so it's cool to see all this fly's also teaching us some secrets on how to make all this stuff work which is pretty awesome I with this rear bumper off, we're gonna start taking off all these little pieces of the wrap, taking off all the, all the carbon pieces because this, this bumper is actually held and uh, is actually held in by a lot of pieces. We have the mesh grill, carbon fiber piece, all the lights have to come apart, the exhaust piece has to come apart, another set of mesh stuff, all the electronics. And the car's gonna go into the booth with the front fenders on. That's what Vlad was saying, because I originally was like, we'll take those off and just spray them individually. He was like, no, we're gonna leave those on because we have them perfectly dialed up. It took well, it only took Vlad like less than two hours really to like get everything yeah. fitting perfectly But you were saying that if we were to take them off paint them put it back on us like rattling it moving around It's just gonna like, chip it and mess up yeah. the paint this way It's all in one piece and we don't have to do anything. Just put the car back together Don't mess with the fenders. We'll make it a lot simpler and us having Vlad do this with us It's going so fast like this the disassembly on this car And we're just like putting our heads down and all working as you can tell I'm not really like doing time lapses or anything just because we're just all putting our heads down and like working as fast as we can because we're getting a lot of progress done. So it's gonna go into the booth uh, with the fenders on and the prime of the hood, front bumper, rear bumper, skirts. Our stopping point today might be once we take off the mirrors and stuff because we still need to get the little pieces out from the wrap. Not quite sure yet, we're just gonna put our head down and keep going. So Vlad's been going ham on this front right fender. 
So this is the side that had the most damage on the fender. If you guys remember, we actually reused these fenders. These are the ones that came on the car and originally crashed. And the original guys we sent the car to did the framework, kind of hammered this one out, but it still needed a lot of work. So literally Vlad's been here for the last 45 minutes, an hour, just redoing the whole entire fender, reshaping, getting ready to go. So that side's getting done. This side, this needs a little bit right here, and needs a little bit at the top, everything else is ready to go. This thing's almost ready to roll into the bay to start getting blended and, and painted down. And while that's all happening, Calvin's out here drooling at this Porsche. You're, you're drooling, you're drooling. Not drooling. You are, you even posted a photo of no, it. No, I didn't do that. You did. It didn't happen. So. You did. No, can't prove it. Sorry, Anyone has a nope. 991? Nope. Manual? Nope. Carrera S? Nope. Very specific. Seven speed Carrera S. Preferably crash. So can Front end on. crash? Front end crash, yeah. We'll fly to wherever you are and come <laughs> get it from you. All right, so what I'm about to do is give a little unboxing experience right now. For those who don't know, I absolutely love shoes. I really started to like really love shoes in the last like year and a half. I just like, it's become like an obsession of mine, um, and I love it. It's like the second thing I enjoy buying most behind like car stuff is shoes. Now I just got what I think are my most prized possession shoes. Probably, probably this is the most I've ever spent on a pair of shoes. I think. I think maybe when I got my Pirate Yeezys, I got those for like six hundred or something bucks, but. These are definitely the most expensive shoes I have ever got. Any guesses? If you follow me on, on Instagram, you already saw me post about it. Just opening the box, got the Air Jordan stamp. Oh, I could smell them. Brand new, in the box, 13 Chicago Bulls J1s. These are fucking buyer and they match the tour outfit which was like why i was like fuck it like i'm just gonna buy them i'm gonna do it j1s are like the number one jordan out there always looks good everyone loves it i've always wanted these ones but i've never done it i was like nah i'm never gonna spend the money i got these off of goat i picked them up for i think like 850 shipped and i am so happy that i did i've been like waiting for these like the last week that i bought them i'm so stoked Oh, oh, it smells brand new. This is my first pair of J1s. My first pair, are you kidding me? Comes with a whole goat sticker and a little goat verification saying they're real. Let's throw on these bad boys, see how they feel. I also recently have added to my shoe collection, which I haven't shown you guys in quite a bit, but I'll give you guys a little rundown after this. I recently picked up some blazers, which I've been super hyped on. We shot those shoes in the Honda Company photo shoot we did a couple days ago. Saw a lot of comments from you guys too, saying you guys didn't know what those were. I'll show them in just a bit. Oh, whoa, bro. They're just so clean. Oh. These are like one of the only high tops that I'm like, dude, I'd rock these all day with shorts. A lot of high tops, I don't like wearing them unless I have um, long pants on, but these, bro. Oh, mmm. Mm. If you're not a shoe person, you're probably like, TJ, I don't get it. It's just like a normal pair of shoes. But if you know, then you know. Something about a pair of shoes just makes me feel so good. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the self-expression, the style. I don't know what it is. Damn. Damn. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. What do we think? I'm kind of jealous. D I told you I'd buy you some. Those are nice. And you're like, meh, I don't like them. I told you, let's get a matching pair. Go that way. <sighs> you feel so cool when it's doing I love these shoes. I've worn them for so long, but never had the balls to buy them. I like them. And now I did. I was like, I'm about to send it. By the way, I'm only wearing these shoes in the house right now because they're not dirty. These are literally brand new. Oh, yeah, like I normally don't wear shoes in the house. I'll give you guys a little updated haul on the shoe closet here. I recently picked up some blazers that I'm so hyped on. Also, I just want to make this clear. A lot of people out there are in shoes and they're like, ooh, I don't want to crease them. It's like, in my opinion, I'm like, crease them. That means, it means you wear them. Like, I think shoes look really good when they're like brand new, like super nice, but I'm the type of guy that I destroy them. 
in a good way. Like I use them, I destroy them, I wear them, I enjoy them. That's the biggest thing, I enjoy them. My enjoyment doesn't come from seeing them sitting in the closet. My enjoyment comes from like wearing them all the time. So these are the newest cops right here. Wore these, eight three open house, blazers, so clean. I got them in the, I think the rocket blues, I think that's what they're called. I'm not quite sure, but I want to pick these up in red and in black. Great boot, pretty cheap too. Only like 180 bucks, 200 bucks. Pretty good for what you get. But updated shoe haul here. It's not the best collection out there, but it's my collection and I'm proud of it. I always have two pairs of white high tops vans. These are my dirty ones, these are my cleaner ones. My J5s, white cements. It's my first pair of Jordans, I love them. I wanna get these, but in the blacks. I like the blacks ones a lot. Always gotta have a clean pair of combis. I have a lot of Vans. I'm just, Vans are just a crucial daily wear. These, I've never seen anyone else really wear these. I got these in Japan. I don't really see X90s in the States. It's always in Japan, loved them. I've never seen in this colorway before. I'm sure you can get them online, but I, these are special to me. These are like my first pair of like hype shoes I ever got. Of course, Yeezy V1 Pirates. These are going up in value a lot. These are like 800, 900 bucks and I bought these for like 500 or 600 way back when but these are up right now on the price i'm gonna have gary v's and then i have all of these shoes which are just like yeezys and ultra boost and stuff i'm trying to like branch away from adidas just because i love them but i want to experience other shit there's an example of what i mean by i wear my shoes to shit prime knits these when they came out were like so rare i wore these to the gym the first time like two years ago literally no lie dead stopped me and was like bro where did you get those and i'm like sorry dude i got a plug i mean they're already trashed and ruined i've tried cleaning them they don't work i guess i shouldn't throw them away but i might just give them away or something i don't know pretty much my shoe collection not much but i just have a lot of yeezys and stuff you guys are gonna see these being worn a lot i just geeked out on shoes for way too long so hopefully you guys are in shoes but if you're not maybe this video will get you guys in shoes <laughs>